I decided to become a wheat farmer after a long term experience of droughts that kills our animals in big number every year. In 2014, the Ikada came in, they show us so many things like um, soil testing, um, the suitable uh, wheat uh, seed for, 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 for our soil uh, because they have introduced um, new variety like uh, Eagle 10, King Bird. When you look at the small scale farmers, wheat production was very low five years ago. But uh, now there's a demand because the small scale farmers grow wheat under rain fed conditions. And now we have a lot of small scale farmers who are engaged in wheat production. We have developed a heat tolerant varieties that can grow under heat stress condition. <laughs> Women are given the chance to participate in the production process, in the processing process, and in the marketing process. I have trained like around 1,000 ladies on how to prepare a good nutritive meals for their, uh, for their families. And it has been along the, all the IP sites. We eat chapati. Sometimes we, 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 we just cook uh, 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 wheat as grains uh, in form of gatheri. We add some beans and uh, very, very nutritious. The cost of wheat in the wild market is cheaper than the cost of production in Kenya. Due to increasing population and changing food habits, uh, we now are not able to produce enough wheat and we have to import approximately uh, one and a half million tons every year. This is a, a large drain on our foreign exchange reserves, considering that uh, at the current prices of wheat in the world market, uh, one and a half million tons of wheat are equivalent to 400 million, 490 million dollars in foreign exchange. It is not possible to unlock that potential without good crop management. We also train a lot of small-scale farmers on wheat production, as well as the agriculture extension uh, staff that are also helping to train the farmers because they didn't have the know-how of uh, wheat production. We were planting different varieties which were not drought resistant. They needed a lot of water. The varieties are uh, resistant to diseases. We were producing eight, three, uh, from three to eight bags an acre. But now uh, with the, the new technologies and the new varieties, we are producing up to 15 bags. The seed testing? The seed trials, because it's, uh, it's, it's a lot of money to pay for seed uh, testing before it is. We were able to pay for the money for the testing of the variety by the Seed Control Certification Institute. And uh, with the tested of varieties, uh, the, the cultivars that have yet to be released this year. Our varieties are giving four to six tons per hectare, unlike the traditional varieties that farmers used to get, not more than one to two. Before wheat farming, we, uh, I was keeping uh, 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 cattle, sheep, and goats. They're encouraging a lot of people to to to, to, to di diversify, and wheat is one of the crop, one of the priority crop in our country. That's why we are researching on it. And but the problem is the funding. We have uh, limited funding. With science and technology, a good research in one good agroecology. Once we prove it, it can easily be adaptable and replicated.